Welcome to St Peter's Church, Olson Field. This is Mothering Sunday and it's difficult times that we're all facing with the coronavirus in our community. I'm praying for each one of us in this community and beyond affected by the coronavirus. I'm on my own as there is no public worship allowed but I hope this might be an opportunity for you to join in at home. We pray in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Today, as I've said, is Mothering Sunday, but also we need to remember somebody special and dear in our community who has recently died. Stan Goodwin died on, on and we must remember him and place him in God's hands. As we pray for him, pray too for Doris, his widow, for his family, for his friends as well as praying for our mothers on this Mothering Sunday. So I'm going to light a candle first to symbolise our prayers for Stan and for his family at this time. I'm also going to light a candle to represent our love and our hopes and our prayers for our mothers. We light this candle to remember, uh, to remind us that the love of God is like a light shining in the darkness. Blessed be God forever. We praise you, our God, for all mothers who have loved and laughed and laboured as they cared for their children. Blessed be God forever. We praise you, our God, for all mothers who have wept in sorrow and in joy for their children. Blessed be God forever. We praise you, our God, for Jesus born of a woman and nurtured in her love, and for Mary's reminder of your patient waiting love. Blessed be God forever. Let's so bring to mind the things that we get wrong in our lives as we ask and pray for forgiveness. Let us call to mind our sin, our failure to value the love of others, and our failure to love Christ as he loved us. Your love gives us life from the moment of conception, and we fail to live as your children. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You call us to do good, and so often we seek our own good. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You hear us when we cry for help. We ignore the cries of others. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May the Father of all mercy cleanse us from our sins and restore us in his image. To the praise and glory of his name through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A prayer for Mothering Sunday. God of love, compassionate and strong, tender and careful, watch over us and hold us all the days of our life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A reading from Paul's letter to the Colossians, chapter 3, verses 12 to 17. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion and kindness, humility, meekness and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you. And so you must also forgive. 
Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in the one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teach you and admonish one another in all wisdom, and with gratitude in your hearts sing praises and hymns and spiritual songs to God. For whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Standing near the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister Mary, the wife of Cleopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing there beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. And then he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his own home. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. As I said earlier, it is strange times that we're all facing at the moment with the coronavirus having its effect right round the world. We're learning how and what social distancing means. We are self-isolating. We found that travel and sport has now been cancelled and pubs and clubs and cinemas have closed. Schools have shut and it's not even the end of the spring term, let alone the summer term. The NHS is busy, 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 caring for those who are seriously ill with coronavirus and the dying. And there are empty shelves in the supermarkets. Not only is that making a strange time for me, but also it feels strange for me this Mothering Sunday. It'll be the first Mothering Sunday without my mum. She died last October. And I know I won't be alone in experiencing that. And I'm finding it strange. Strange not buying her flowers and a card, chocolates and planning to see her. Many are in that same boat. But there's more. Those who are self-isolating, they are cut off from their mothers, or if their mothers are self-isolating, they are cut off from their families. And what are we to do? Well, there's nothing wrong in perhaps considering the words of Saint Paul in that reading to the Colossians. He's telling them to clothe themselves with compassion, tenderness, humility, meekness and patience. To bear with each other, to forgive each other and to be above all things clothed with love. Begs the question, what clothes are we wearing? All those things that Paul described as clothes are excellent qualities for each one of us, especially at the moment. Compassion and kindness and humility, meekness and patience will help each other when we isolate and living alone. It will help protect each other when we think of others before ourselves. The acts of kindness, of shopping, running errands, fetching prescriptions, 
for those who are vulnerable and isolated. Those are the quality of the clothes that Paul talked about, of compassion, kindness, humility, meekness and patience. It's in the phone calls that people make, or the Skype and FaceTime that people spend with those they know and love, but also to those neighbours and friends. Those conversations open a window into a relationship, a relationship that is compassionate and caring and full of love. These are the sort of clothes we should be wearing. Compassion, kindness, humility, meekness and patience, faith, hope and love. They are the sort of clothes my mum would have put on me. The clothes she put me on, put on me to protect me. Clothes that make me feel good and happy, smart, presentable, but also scruffy and ready for digging in the garden or playing football. You need different clothes for different situations. And the clothes that we need to wear now, compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, faith, hope, and love. What more do we need to make a better world than these qualities, these clothes? Put them on, wear them with pride, and bless you, bless each one of you, when you wear these clothes and offer these gifts of clothes to others, to your family, to your friends, to your neighbours, to strangers, to your local community, to the nation and to our world. We believe in God the Father from whom every family in heaven on an earth is named. We believe in God the Son who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Prayers of intercessions for Mothering Sunday I invite you to hold in your hearts and in your thoughts and in your prayers your loved ones, your neighbours, and your concerns for the world in which we are living. And pray too for Stan and for Doris. And for all who are mothers. As children of a loving God who always listens to our cries, let us pray to our God in heaven. God of love, hear our prayer. Loving God, you call us to be your children, children of God. Help us to show your love in our homes, communities, nations and world. That they may be places of love, security and truth. God of love, hear our prayer. Loving God, Jesus your Son was born into the family of Mary and Joseph. Bless all parents and all who care for children. Encourage and strengthen those families living under stress, especially now. That, may, that your love may be known where no human love is found. God of love, hear our prayer. Loving God, we thank you for the family of the church. We pray that all may find in her a true home, a true mother that the lonely, the marginalised, the rejected may be welcomed and loved in the name of Jesus.
God of love, hear our prayer. Loving God, as we see the brokenness of our world, we pray for healing among the nations, for food where there is hunger, for sharing where there is selfishness, selfishness, for care where there is isolation, for compassion where there is suffering, for freedom where there is oppression, for joy where there is pain. That your love may bring peace to all your children. God of love, hear our prayer. Loving God, we pray for those who find Mothering Sunday difficult. We pray for those who have lost their mothers, those who have a difficult relationship with their own mother, and those who long to be mothers. Help us to find our rest and quietness in your loving arms. God of love, hear our prayer. Now we're not allowed to be holding hands and uh, shaking hands and hugging people. How is it that we can share peace, share love? And maybe we need to think of other ways of doing that. And the way that deaf children, people sign for the peace is like this. The peace of the Lord be always with you, and also with you. We take bread and we take wine. To be for us symbols of Jesus' body and blood shed for us. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give you thanks and praise. It is indeed right and good, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord. We give you thanks and praise that the Virgin Mary heard with faith the message of the angel and by the power of your Holy Spirit conceived and bore the word made flesh. From the warmth of her womb to the stillness of the grave, he shared our life in human form. In him new light has dawned upon the world, and you have become one with us, that we might become one with you in your glorious kingdom. Therefore earth unites with heaven to sing a new song of praise. We too join with the angels and archangels as they proclaim your glory without end. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We, bless, bless, we praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, the broken bread and wine out poured, may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends. And taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread and gave it to them and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper is ended, took the cup of wine again. He praised you and gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, 
to shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. So Father, remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people and gather us in your loving arms and bring us to St. Peter, St. Margaret of Antioch, St. Bartram and the followers of the Holy Cross and all your saints to feast your table in heaven. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Draw near with faith, receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ who gave for you, his blood which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance he died for you, feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Body in the blood of Christ, keep me in everlasting life. Loving God, as a mother feeds the children at the breast, you feed us in this sacrament with the food and drink of eternal life. Help us who have tasted your goodness to grow in grace within the household of faith through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And prayer for our mothers and for mothers everywhere. Thank you, God, for the love of our mothers. Thank you, God, for their care and concern. Thank you, God, for the joys they have shared with us. Thank you, God, for the pains they have borne for us. Thank you, God, for all that they give us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. For the care of mothers, thanks be to God. For their patience when tried and tested, thanks be to God. For their love when tired and weary, thanks be to God. For their hope when uncertain and despairing, thanks be to God. For their service and love without limit, thanks be to God. For unconditional love, thanks be to God. Praise God who loves us. Praise God who cares for us. And a blessing upon you, those for whom you be praying, your loved ones, your family, friends and neighbours and community, our country, our nation, our world. May God, who gave birth to his cre creation, bless us. May God, who became incarnate by an earthly mother, bless us. 
A God who broods as a mother over her children. Bless us. Almighty God, bless us. Father, Son and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.